Hello class, mm, come, welcome to the third installment of Clifford Gears. Mm, I hope you are enjoying. Mm, welcome. So what does culture do then? What does culture do? Gear's analysis of Balinese cockfight is an example of his revelation of what culture meant and what culture analysis should be, which laid the groundwork for the shift towards post-structuralist, post-modern approaches that would soon dominate anthropology. Ritual performance, performances and play like art render ordinary experiences comprehensible through representation in terms of acts, objects that are understood to be more mere appearances without practical consequences. This transformation of lived experience into play allows their meanings to be clearer and more powerfully felt. Cockfights, novels, or theater plays do not do anything to anyone, except for the cocks, of course. They gather up assorted and random lived experiences and organize them into structured forms, allowing them to be perceived clearly. This is the creation of meaning. The cockfight says to the Balinese that prestige is a matter of life and death, that rivalries are real and that dark animality always threatens humanity, truths otherwise obfuscated through etiquette, ceremony, euphemism or ideology.
the cockfight in its rhythms and forms is not an imitation it is an example of balinese life as well as its inversion an imaginative creation of what it should not be but could it does not reinforce social structure it is a commentary on it a balinese reading of balinese experience culture ritual art literature drama sport tells stories about what life feels like what happens or could happen enabling us to see aspects of our own selves and subjectivities yet subjectivity does not exist unless experiences and meanings have been organized thus culture regenerates what it appears to reflect not only casting light on our experiences but coloring them as well it is through the drama and characters of poetry literature myth and ritual that we learn who we are for gears cultures are ensemblance of texts and no single text in a culture is a master key texts challenge each other disqualify each other dominant dominate each other culture analysis should then shift away from unearthing structures code systems or uh, neuroses to the literary analysis of texts societies own interpretations for themselves Thank you and see you in the next section. Keep on reading.